Hello, welcome back to the third part of my complete fusion guide for beginners. And today we will have a look at the text node. So let's go to the toolbar and drag the text node into our node graph and connect it to the media out. Now in the inspector you can see there's this text box and you can type in some words. For example, hello, this is a text tutorial and you can also animate this text box so if we go to frame 10 and place a keyframe and then maybe go to frame 20 we can change this to for beginners and if we play this back this text jumps from this to this. If you want to make it like it is being typed instead of appearing instantly, there's this write on function down here. And let's delete our keyframe. Let's go to frame zero, then go to write on, place a keyframe and drag the right slider all the way down. Then you can move the cursor and the timeline, maybe to frame 12, and increase the right on slider all the way. Now you can check this animation by hitting play, and you can see it's being written on our screen. You can change the timing. Let's place the right on end here. And now it's being typed slowly. The font can be changed under the font here. For example, Montserrat is one of my favorite fonts. And you can also change the font weight. Let's make it black. I will make this to a single view so we have less distractions. And you can increase the size of our text with this slider to make it big or small. And then there's this option tracking, which influences how much space is between the characters. Let's put it back to default. Then there's line spacing, so we need an, a new line to have this take effect, which is self-explanatory like in other programs you can change the space between two lines. Then there's this V anchor. I won't explain this any further because it's just how you align the box and I can't show you this visually. So let's skip this and go to the H anchor, which is the horizontal anchor. And as you can see right now, our text is into the center. And if we change it to the left, it will be placed on the left. And you can do the same for the right. And if you want to have a block of text, you can go into the next line and increase the edge justify. So the text will be spaced out. So the left and the right is a hard cut. Then we can change the direction, maybe to vertical. Then our text is vertical, like in Egyptian writings. And you can also reverse this or make it displayed backwards in horizontal. Now let's uh, change it back to automatic. And before we have a look at the next page, here's this color box like with the background node, you can change your text to a specific color in here. So let's head over to the layout page. Here you can change where the location of the text is. Use the center X and Y values. And you can also change the size here. And let's put it back somewhere in the middle. We can change the center Z, which is 
similar to a size, but it's uh, like in three dimensional if it's further away or closer to us. And if we change the rotation on this, you can see this behaves like a plane. And you can also change the background color in this tab. I don't really use this feature a lot, but it's possible. Now let's go to shading. Shading, you can change things about the display settings of the text. For example, you click, can click on this icon to create only the outline of the text. And as you can see, it doesn't look quite good because there are some lines which are through the characters and you can clean them up by checking this box, clean intersections. And now it looks right. You can also change the thickness of this outline and the color you can change down here. Let's give this a blue color. And what's quite interesting is you can even change the line style from solid to dash or to dots or dash and dots mixed or other patterns. And let's put dash in here. And the join style can be changed in here too. This is, um, let's put it back to solid. If you look at this A, and if we change the join style, you can say how it behaves. Then there's the softness, which blurs your text. Uh, I don't really use this feature. And now let's go to the top again. You can see there's this shading elements, because a lot of these things have already be, been saved in a preset. For example, if we go to the second element and check this enabled box, we get a red outline and let's, on the first one, let's put this back to a default. Now we can see it. And because we have selected this red outline on the second tab, you can see there's this outline and you can change the values here as well. Let's make it pink. And on the third, there's a shadow. You can enable it and then the shadow appears. And on the fourth, there's a blue border. Yeah, I, I don't really use this feature too. So let's disable it again. And you can save things on the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth element. These aren't used yet. Yeah, and this is it for the text tutorial. If you haven't seen the other two tutorials, have a look at the playlist and I will see you in the next one.